Hey, good people. Uh, it's Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya, and uh, we've got another uh, offering here. These can be found on Reverb.com, typically. My shop name is Vintage Audio Nagoya. Check out uh, this unit. We've got kind of an oddball today. It's a digital echo. Uh, oftentimes, I'm putting up uh, tape echo, which are my favorites, but I kind of fell for this little unit, and uh, it's just got a unique style to it, a good look, and it sounds all right. So let's check it out. I'm going to start with just the amp. You can hear there's a fair amount of noise from this old uh, Gaia Tone amp. So I don't want you to think that it's coming from the unit itself. It's, it's really coming from that amp. But let's turn it on here. Now it appears to be mainly a vocal uh, piece, but you can play a guitar through it. But uh, it tends to yeah, keep the volume down a little bit, so I think it's primarily for mics. Uh, let's see here. We're, this is our guitar, and uh, right about now we're in the middle here, and uh, about the middle for intensity. Got a bad cable on this uh, guitar. Sorry about that. And that's our echo. Here's our uh, intensity, or basically the repeats. It'll start to oscillate out if you crank it all the way. So here's intensity all the way down and echo cranked. No echo. Echo cranked. Now we'll add some intensity. Alright, you're getting the feel for the guitar. We'll put that away. And uh, we'll turn that down and we'll bring this microphone over. And here's our mic. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. The mic seems a little bit clearer and uh, you can hear it, it just doesn't uh, overload the unit really. Uh, check, 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 so if you're looking for something that's a little bit unusual, uh, this certainly fits that bill. Uh, let's get a close-up. Okay, here's a little bit of a close-up view of it. And uh, got a train going by, so we're getting some noise here. But again, the, mainly what you're hearing as far as the static sound is that uh, old Gaia Tone amp. We'll turn this on. And I'll just hold this mic in my hand here. Uh, let's see. It's tough to see maybe, but we're about middle on our echo. Uh, I'll turn the intensity all the way down. Echo, 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 echo. Intensity, echo, 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 midway. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Max. So she'll she'll freak right out if you crank it. Okay, uh, let's uh, shut this off. And I'll just flip it around, show you the back here real quick. Okay, let's flip it around, and take a look at the back side. 
Uh, it does have uh, RCA outs on the back. So if you want to hook it up to a stereo or some kind of recording device, it's fused. And uh, it's got a fairly long cord on it. Case is in really good shape, as you can see. Underside's in real good condition. Feet. No noticeable scratches or scuffs anywhere on it, really. It's uh, in really good condition. It doesn't say anywhere on it, but I'm assuming it's 100 volt um, here in Japan. So chances are this would work in America, but uh, if you're concerned at all, I would suggest using a transformer. But typically anything 100 volt, especially in, in this digital realm, would, would work fine. Uh, but again, we recommend uh, you use a transformer but it's in great shape and it's kind of a unique thing it's uh you know it retains the look of a tape echo but it's it's a digital echo and uh i kind of like it thanks for checking us out and uh, check out some of the other other offerings at vintage audio nagoya have a good night